Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. And I'm thinking about Amanda Gorman's uh, inauguration poem and uh, thinking about uh, the 4th of July coming up. And I think her poem is like a love letter to America that is, is kind and uh, generous and also helpful in reminding us of a, of a bigger calling. And there's just one line today I want to really call out, and that is, being American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we step into and how we repair it. And how we repair it. Yes, it must be repaired, and it can't be repaired by ignoring what has happened in our past. That must be repaired, right? That circular logic. The, the whole issue around critical race theory just absolutely... It's like fingers on a, on a chalkboard, nails. And this morning I was reading uh, news that uh, there's this very helpful um, organization in Texas that says how to identify critical race theory in the classroom. And the, they offer these buzzwords. And if these buzzwords are used in that classroom, then they're teaching critical race theory, and that's now banned in these states. But here, listen to some of these words. Diversity, inclusion, equity, restorative justice, culture, supremacy, colonialism, inequity, Black Lives Matter, well, that doesn't surprise me, reparation, liberation, power structures, normative, bias, unconscious. Okay, that's, that's, um, that's, that's schools. Let's ask these questions about church. What, what about, uh, does your church um, use these words? And if they don't, have you asked why not? How do we repair the world that we love, that repair the country that we love, without words like these that, that teach us more about the kingdom of God that Jesus taught, an open, inclusive, oh my God, inclusive, just and compassionate. Uh-oh, is that a bad word? Uh, world. Okay, you got my snark <laughs> this morning, so let me go back to the love letter of Amanda Gorman. Because being an American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we all have to step into and how we repair it with God's grace and mercy and guidance. Have a grateful day. Bye.